Macquarie Bank Garden was um, founded by Samuel Gregg and his wife Hannah. Um, they built a cotton mill here and then later on decided to build their house here. Um, they chose a really great spot for their house because it has views down the, the River Bolin. Um, so the garden was kind of established in the 1790s um, and is kind of a picturesque garden so it means that they weren't trying to battle with nature too much, they were trying to emulate nature um, and using elements of, of nature such as the caves and cliffs that we have here at Quarry Bank to kind of add a sense of drama to the garden and they also used the mill as a backdrop to provide a, a different sense of drama within the garden. We're very lucky, um, a lot of the trees and plantings that they, they put in in the 1790s are still in existence today. So lots of fantastic mature beech trees that kind of clothe the valley banks. Um, one of the really special things is our collection of rhododendrons. In the river you can often see um, trouts of all different sizes there's a usually a huge one that kind of hovers around underneath the garden bridge so it's worth looking out for him um, lots of different bird life um, we've got dragonflies because of all the water um, range of butterflies that kind of we've got meadow areas and they they come and um, feed on the me meadow plants For me, the, the thing that makes this garden special is, is the fact that it's set in a valley. You've got all these different level changes, so the whole garden, you, it's a, a series of, of gradual reveals. Um, you go round a corner and you'll see a cliff face, and you'll go round a bit more and you'll see a fantastic tree, or you'll in the background you'll hear a, a waterfall, so it's just the, the varied nature of it.